Today I'm going to show you how to wet sand with 3M Wet or Dry 320 on this door that I've been working on. First thing you want to do is take a full sheet and fold it in half. Like so. Then we're just going to tear it right down the middle. Then what you can do is just fold it over like this and fold it over like that. And we have now three sides that we can use. And we're just going to wet sand like this. I just have a spray bottle with some water and an old t-shirt to wipe it clean. Again, we're going to start with some black paint so we can see any low spots. Now, you, you have a choice. You can either use this or you can use a block with 320 on it. So I'll show you how to use both. First of all, you don't really have to let this dry. It's just enamel black spray paint and it's going to allow us to see what's in the low spots. So we'll just give it, some people use a bucket of water, but for the video we we'll are just squirt it like this. Now with our sandpaper folded like this, you, you don't want to go like this with your fingers because you will leave finger marks. What you want to do is more or less go back and forth like this with your hand, like this, and then like this, or around in circles. But never try to stay away from doing this, because you'll leave finger marks. So we'll give it a little shot of water, and we'll hit the sandpaper a little bit. Okay. Then we're just going to take it and lightly let the sandpaper do the work. Okay, now I'm going to wipe it off so you can see what's under there. Now, if you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see. Yeah, it's better with the light off. So you can see there is some dark paint in the deep scratches. Dark paint right here and right here. The paint helps you to see what's in the low spots and what's in the scratches. So I'm going to continue. I'll move this light back a little bit. And I still have a glare, so we'll just turn it off. And that's a little better. So we'll wet it down. And, and we're just going to sand until that black is gone. Okay, let's try that. Now, that's good except for just a tiny little bit of black right there. I'm not going to even come close to the, to the body line that's down there. I'm going to do that real lightly uh, 
but I'm not going to use a block on that. I'm just going to use hand sandpaper. When you get near body lines, you have to be very careful and stay away from them. We're going to hit this one more time till that little bit of black goes away. middle of the door all wet sanded by just going around in circles going down like this going this way around in circles around in circles spraying it with water you know the whole time I just keep it wet keep that wet and, and go around in circles but just never you know, just with your fingers going that way because you'll leave finger marks. Round in circles, this way, this way, round in circles. Keep going until the door, there's no more black left. Now we're going to move up here. Up here, we're going to stay off this body line. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to stay off the body lines. So up here, we're just going to hit it. I know this is flat. So I really don't need any black spray paint up here. And I'm, I'm staying off this body line. I'm just going right up to it, but I'm not going over it. I'm making sure I just stay off of it. And that looks like it's pretty good for up there. I'm going to come back here with some uh, a scuff pad and knock that down. Or even, even finer grit than 320, because 320 will knock that down too much. All right. Now we're going to move down here. So this is the door. I finished uh, wet sanding it with 320. Again, it's a half sheet of paper. This is 320 folded over once, folded over again. We're not sanding like this because we're going to leave finger marks. You want to go back and forth like this or in circles. We always stay off the body lines. Make sure that you stay off the body lines until the very end and then lightly knock them down a little bit. Same down here. Stay off the body lines. You can sand on the flats or the curves, not the body lines, until the end. And then just knock them down a little bit. I also like to knock them down a little bit with a scuff pad. Use one of these and this knocks them down a little bit makes them nice and round. Uh, that should be it. The next video is going to be painting this door to see what the finished product really looks like. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel.